Hi. Hello. It's me, Dom. This is Dom Sketchcast. You're watching a drawing too. It's a beautiful day. Hope you're feeling nice. It's a special day. Because I'm going to be drawing to Mad Lib and Freddie Gibbs' new album, Bandana. If you've never seen a drawing too, here's how it works. I listen to the album, process it, and I tell you about the imagery and the sounds and the sights and whatever feelings come to me. And comes out in word form, comes out in drawing form. At the end of this video, you'll be able to buy a limited edition print of what I draw. And it's gonna be fire. I'm just warning you right fucking now. So get your hot little finger ready to click buy. We're gonna get into this drawing too, right after this little, little, little tiny message. Hope you're enjoying the show. Wanna remind you guys, the best way to support me are two ways, domrabbin.com slash shop, buy my shit, patreon.com slash valet. Sign up on there, free original art, giveaways tutorials, assignments, valet the summoning cards, personal vlogs that you'll see nowhere else, and old, old drawings of mine. Patreon.com slash valet. And we're back. This album is a special story. It's a comeback story. The great Mad Lib. The great Freddie Gibbs. Great to see him back in the saddle again, doing what he does best. Coke pushing raps that are better than Pusha T's raps. Freddie Gibbs is the only person I want to hear about pushing Coke, all right? Pushing that Coca-Cola and that Pepsi. Even though Pusha T has been chasing him, chasing him forever with his Cokes, trying to push his Cokes into my ears. It's not happening, all right? Only Freddie Gibbs, even though Pusha T's feature is very good on this album. We're gonna start with this album cover. Look at the album cover. We got Lord Quaz with the red bandana, okay? He's got the brick, he's got the weed in his mouth. Freddie Gibbs, the zebra supreme. Zebra Sorcerer Supreme of Hollywood. He's got the weed in his mouth too. Part one, Crime Pays. Excellent music video, by the way. You wanna see a black dude yelling at some white dudes on a farm? <laughs> Don't do that shit. It's fucking hilarious. Crime Pays, all right? These two just got away with the bank heist. Lord Quaz has been riding the master, Freddie Gibbs around in his, in his zebra form. Mad Libs, oh my God. Mad Libs? Dude, I'm, dog. Dog, Mad Libs, that's what they call themselves. That's their, that's their crime syndicate, all right? Mad Libs, two Bs. Dog, I'm smart. So Mad Libs just committed the crime, right? They just, they just did the crime that pays, they robbed the bank. Crime pays is the soundtrack to them escaping that shit, just like in Reservoir Dogs, okay? They got the brick, they got the money, they got the cashola. They got the lady stashed inside of Freddie Gibbs' body just like a Trojan horse. I don't know how that works. It's kind of gross. Maybe they died inside of him. I don't know, whatever. I'm not worried about that sort of thing, okay? Part two, hot track, Palm Olive. They escaped the coppers, okay? They both made it out like in Reservoir Dogs. Actually, nothing like Reservoir Dogs. They escaped the coppers, right? Palm Olive. They're just chilling, man. They're just cruising. As the hills of Hollywood, LA, California is just burning around them. But they already got that spell, man. They already got that spell from fucking Killer Mike, who just debuffed them against the fires that are just burning all around them. And he also buffed them so that they're, they're, the money that they got doesn't burn either. Just just tromping around. I don't know if that's a verb, but they're tromping around the hills, right? You're just looking around. Push a T, push a Coke. Just following them in this track. It's a beautiful track, and it's... um. Mad Lib's production to me are winding. I love a good winding track that just feels like it is repetitious, but it's just clean and it, it, it's soft. It's like, a, I really feel like Mad Lib's beats caress me and Freddie Gibbs is the, he's the percussion. He's the thing that's just, that's just jabbing at the, at the perfect spots while that softness is happening in the background. Part three, Trouble in Paradise. Things can't always be beautiful. Situations. My next favorite, favorite track off this album, Situations. This is a boss, it's a boss fight. Listen man, you know, hold up, hold up. I know Dead King told me not to talk to this guy, but I, I gotta address you. Like, is there something that you wanna talk to me about? Cause I mean like, you've been all up in my videos, like P Diddy. Dude, you like, you really don't wanna start shooting. Just, just go away, just. Situations is the ending. It's the boss fight. The coppers are back. This time in flame retardant gear. They have the hazmat suits and they came with the flame pistols ready for my boys, Mad Libs, coming after them. Of course they're triumphant, man. This is Lord Quaz, man. This is, this is Freddie Gibbs, the Zebra Supreme. Of course they come out on top. I heard Mad Lib made all the beats uh, for this album on his iPad 
If that's true, that's awesome. If it's not true, these beats are fucking awesome anyway. I don't give a fucking F. Friends, the physical drawing is complete. Now, you must wait. Don't touch that fucking dial, because we gotta go to the fun part, the best part. We're gonna finish with the digital portion of this drawing at my place. Come on, let's go, mother Maybe wherever you're from, it's muggy right now, it's hot. It's like 97, 98 degrees, 99. Right now, in this room, 120 degrees, sweltering, blazing, because of this drawing right here, because it's fire. Now this, what you're looking at, is definitely one of my favorite paintings I've made in the last few years. It kind of astounds me how, how much different your work can get as long as you are willing to experiment and open up to different pathways in your brain and like um, mushing together things that don't necessarily go together. I have a lot of stuff hidden in here. A lot of stuff uh, that I've been inspired by secretly or not so secretly. Um, things that I've taken from artists who are all dead. And some of them were probably alive, but it's all just like a blender in there. Um, the text. The text was something that I struggled with putting on this image because I shy away from text. Automatically makes me think about comic books and it makes me know that it's gonna be read. It's gonna be legible. People will read what's on this thing at, when it's in front of them because that's just what we do naturally. It's not like when you're looking at a color like red or blue, you are, you're perceiving a, an exact piece of communication. It's so exact. And you know, one of the things I love about Basquiat is that he had this concept of crossing out letters. Now the crossing out letters thing, I've been trying to figure it out for a couple of years now. And I think it's, it's like a partial cancellation. Seeing something that's partially crossed out where you can almost read it is like you're installing something and then you just suddenly just click X, you get canceled and then your computer starts doing that buffering thing. To me, there's, a, there's an equality there in those two concepts. And that's what I think about whenever I'm writing on these images, whenever I'm obscuring them. Like, for instance, what you see up here in the upper left-hand corner, quas.exe with uh, minimize, maximize, um, delete application, close application symbol. That stuff to me is all, it's all doing this modern version of a lot of the things I love seeing modern artists do in the past, one of them being Marcel Duchamp. And if you're a smart fella, you'll be able to notice that there is a Duchampian element in here. I'm not gonna say it. The Quaz was taken from one of my previous drawings I made of Quaz. I think yesterday, actually, I posted that. And I love how that Quaz came out so much because of the experimentation and the freedom I was feeling. The the freedom to be like, I have to decide which marks are right or wrong and just put those and go with it. So the way you see me draw quads the same way I wanted to do the, the Freddie Gibbs zebra where they're both in the same pose, they're both smoking. They're, it's almost like when you watch Karate Kid and they're doing those montages where it's like swans are flying around the background, right? These symbols are really personal to me and they're part of this this conceptual thing I'm working with of like e uh, expressing myself through a hieroglyphic language that me or only a few people have access to. These two feet right here, these two feet that you see belong to Lord Quaz himself and they're taken from the song, Come On Feet. Over here on the right, the parts where the white lines are intersecting with the black and with the uh, multiplied Quazes, the Quaz replicated men, that's kind of one of my favorite parts of this drawing. Honestly, this whole drawing, painting, digital collage diptych is really one of my favorite things. Um, Cause I don't tend to show stuff I don't like. <laughs> but yeah, there, there really are times when I show stuff where it's like, I'm excited about it, but I know it's like, it's like an acceptable level, but this is really an exceptional level drawing for me right now. And you can cop one, but there are only five. That's the caveat. I only put in five of these things. There will only be five made in this edition. You can tell what edition this is by looking at my signature, which changes all the time. Sometimes it's the little king helmet. Sometimes it's the little triangle that looks like a croissant. 
and that all means different stuff to me that I may or may not reveal in the future, but that's kind of what I'm encoding these drawings with. So secret messages, beautiful ass, weird drawings, uh, awesome ass, zebras and quasimodos smoking weed and stuff. This is one of my favorites. You gotta cop one of these, y'all on domraven.com slash shop. domraven.com slash shop is where you can buy stuff from me. Support me directly, a local awesome artist, you know what I'm saying, your local black necromancer trying to make a little buck in this world. You guys are coming through, you guys are really coming through buying these prints and I wanna thank you. Here's what we have right now. We have one portrait of the Death Grips, Gmail and the Restraining Orders left. We have one of Flay Magra, one of the Portrait of the Dead King, that's the last one. These are three of the last ones in this print run. So that's amazing, you guys got a cop if you wanna get in on this. For Anima, the drawing that I started last week, the black and white bombshell, with the little flowers on it rotating around, with a little bit of text going on in there too. If you like this one, there are four left of that one. So yeah, thank you guys for coming through. Hope these things start selling out even more so that you guys can uh, hang them up on your wall and be like, listen, I'm that dude, man. I'm that dude who cop that stuff. And also, I would really love to see it. If you guys buy these things, please email me. Show me where they are in your house so that I can come over there and be like, yo, I made that. But I really do want to see it. I want to see where you guys are putting these up, how they are living in your space, because these are all my children. You guys are stealing my children away from me, one at a time, at reasonable, amazing prices. Original print. Damn, son, what a deal. Damn.